Hi, this is Jay from Gamerphil, and I'm reviewing Amnesia The Dark Descent. Amnesia is from the psychological school of horror games, where you cannot fight, you can only run, and the darkness itself is your enemy. I must stress that if you like the Oh my god, a monster bang bang you're dead school of horror, then stop watching now, just stop. Amnesia is not that sort of game. It's a game where you feel isolated, alone, where even though there are a few monsters, there's a hell of a lot of stuff to scare you that isn't a monster. A good example of this would be the fact that the castle itself seems out to get you, or rather, the unholy slime which seems to be growing and growing and covering things. This leads me to one of my few gripes about this game, in that it can get a little bit unfair at times. The best example of this are the slimes that suddenly grow and you can't avoid them early on in the game. While this isn't a game breaker for me, it did heavily annoy me. But otherwise, I liked the challenge of the game. I liked the physics puzzles, I liked the fact that you can't actually regain sanity until you've completed a puzzle or moved on, and I liked the fact that the few monsters you can see will kibble you within seconds. That is, if you don't go cacklingly insane first. You see, while the darkness drains your sanity because you are, as the manual deeply implies, a bit of a wuss, the monsters drain your sanity even more, to the point where your vision starts blurring, you can't move properly, and you are effectively boned. For those who like a good, challenging, puzzle-based survival horror that's more psychological than monster-based, this is the game for you. Personally, I am giving it 4.5 out of 5 stars, and a nomination of Horror Game of the Year. This is Jay from Gamerphil, wishing you all a good week. See what you have to offer. <clears throat> ah, what a mess. I should have sharpened the saw. But I can sense it. It's definitely there.